Hi guys, welcome to the show. I'm Office Bloke Daz. This is I'm, part two. I'm Gaina. We're going to do part, part two, two of uh, just talking about America, really, and yeah. what we've done, you know, our memories of America. Mm. Um, but it's, you know, for me, America is the greatest place on the planet. I don't care what anyone says it one is. Of the, one of the funniest things I remember was we just started work at a new office, and one of the girls said to me, How long have you been here? And I went, About two weeks now. She went, Can't believe how good your English is. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> that was bad. That was bad. <laughs> I heard it. Can you imagine my response? Yeah, I, I was in. My, I had an office at the end, and I just heard. I just heard that. And I was like, "What?" And I'm like, stood up, storming out. I'm like, so "What did you just say, <laughs> dickhead?" <laughs> you think I'm angry now? I was proper angry when yeah, I was younger. You are, yeah. yeah. But it was, I think it's just you know when you, when you when you go to the USA and you look at your career, and I always think you think, "Is this what I'm going to do for the rest of my life?" Then always this is you got to choose something that you're going to enjoy for the rest of your life. Yeah, it's a long haul. Yeah, it is. And um. I know one of the Q and A's last week was what would you recommend? You know what would you, how would you suggest what you do in your life going forward? But for me, you've got to do something you like. And one of the things about being in logistics and shipping is every day was different. It was a new day. No matter what you did yesterday, today brings something different, and you didn't have to worry about anything because it had all gone and with air freight, everything had gone and done, been delivered, finished. It, you know, it's, it's over, and you move on to the next day. And in the USA, it was so vast because you had everything from road freight. We had one guy who, um, with road freight, he called me up, we, we, we shipped the, um, remember the water towers we used to ship? Yeah. So we did these out of gauge water towers that go in the prisons. And we were shipping them from uh, California to Nevada, to the Nevada State Prison or whatever it was at the time. And this one guy was doing all our shipping, trucking it from California to, to Nevada. Mm. So I said to him, uh, he said to me, I'll take you out for a beer one day, you give me all this business. Let's go out and get a beer. So I said, well, when you're in New Jersey, give me a shout and we'll go for a beer. And he went, I'm based in New Jersey. I went, I thought you were in California. You had like an 800 number. So I'd been waiting for the time difference to call you like midday, because mm -hmm. I thought you were in California. He went, no, no, I'm in New Jersey. I said, whereabouts in New Jersey? I, he went, Freehold. So I said, really? I said, I live in the next town, Howell. And mm -hmm. he said, that's where I live, Howell. Where do you live? And I went, I live in Point of Woods. Yeah. And he went, so do I. He lived on this same development as us. Turns out he's my next door neighbour. Never stop it. Every morning we'd go, morning. We just, I just saw like say, hey. And it, obviously didn't pick up on the accent because we weren't talking. Yeah. And he's like, what car do you drive? And I'm like, I've got the black Honda. He went, I'm in the green Jeep. <laughs> and we went literally parked next to each other. That's and he was our next world. small world, yeah. yeah. Mm. And it, it turned out he'd become, a, he'd become quite close to us in the end, yeah. didn't he? Sort of yeah. thing. As a, as a, he could become a partner in the business and all yeah. in, the, in the end. Yeah. And then I don't know, he'd become a, went, to be a, went on to be a movie producer. So we did? Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know that. Started doing movies and stuff like that, producing movies. Mm -hmm. But you know, remember the posters in the office? No. He used to bring in, put them up, and he, was, he used to put all these posters up in the office. No, I don't or remember. in his office, and it was always produced by him. Oh, sort okay. of thing. Yeah. But yeah, anyway. I hope he's doing well now, James Cameron. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't James Cameron. <laughs> Bruce. <laughs> yeah, Bruce, yeah. yeah. But yeah, that's it. You know, again, we had, we've had all kinds of experiences in the USA. We had a. Uh, Someone get killed behind us. Remember when they? Yeah, we were. Yeah, we were coming home from a christening, mm. and the, the road was closed. The police were there. There was a helicopter, and we were like, Ooh, "But the helicopter was here? just above the houses, like proper low down." And it wasn't like a regular helicopter. It was like an army helicopter, wasn't yeah, it? So what had happened was two weeks prior, somebody had gone missing. It was a. Who was it? They went missing. It was a child, wasn't it? It was a kid. It, I think she was about. Um, I don't think she was a child. I think it was a kid who was about 16, 17 years yeah, old. Yeah, she'd gone missing and. The they found so much blood in the car, they charged someone with murder without finding the body. Without finding the body. Because um, there was that much blood in the car, they said they couldn't have survived. Yeah, yeah. so we were coming back from this christening. The, but my the thing is, I had, a, I had a few beers at the christening. I was driving home, you shouldn't, shouldn't no. drink driving, I don't, you know, I don't condone that, I don't, you know, somebody, but I had, I had a couple of beers. No, I wasn't no. smashed, I wasn't, I'd not done like ten beers or anything, it was like two or three beers. And I drove in, and the cops stopped me. And I went, oh, I live down here. And he went, yeah, okay. And on the way home, I thought, oh, I need to go and get some beer from the beer shop. So as I drove through the, the, the barricades, I turned around in the middle of it and went back out. <laughs> Guys are looking at me going, what the fuck's this guy doing? And I'm like, sorry, I've just got to go to the store. So I think, went to the beer store and uh, got some beers and drove back through the barricade again. <laughs> so I think the guy's like, just, they're all just like that. What the fuck? You know, anyway, went home and it was on, put the news on it. It's all like, oh, Fox TV and Fox News, yeah. a, 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 ABC. ABC News. NBC, all, all the news channels were there. Yeah. All, the, all the news channels were there, so I got on. I was like, what the fuck's going on? Like, we didn't know, we know what was going on, we didn't know what was going on, so we got home, turned the TV on, and um, found out this uh, this kid had uh, gone missing, and they, they were searching the area, but they were searching the woods at the back of our house. 
So all the police, we had a fence that went across and behind the fence was all woodland. Mm. And then you see all the police just on the, be on the fence, weren't they, yeah. and all that kind of stuff. So they, they I'm like, found him, he'd been living in the, the woods in a tent. Yeah. What, the guy who did it? Yeah. At the back of our house. Yeah, right at the back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, he got, he got arrested and then uh, they couldn't find the body for about two or three weeks. Yeah. They? And then some guy come, come with a dog from like Florida, something, he was out of town. And he came and he said, I'll find the, give me two days, I'll find the body. And sure enough, he did. He did, yeah. Yeah, found the body within like two hours, mm -hmm. I think it was. Yeah. From coming up. Took the police two weeks, he'd come up with a dog, found <laughs> the hours. body in two yeah. hours. Yeah. And uh, yeah, she was buried, sadly. I don't know yeah. if she was actually murdered. Yeah. But it was something to do with a drug deal where the mum hadn't paid the drug dealer, mm. so they took the kid, <gasps> killed the kid. Yeah. Yeah. So it was, uh, yeah. But wait, that's the experience as you live, mm. you know, different mm. parts of the world. It could happen anywhere. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Right. But it's always one of the stories you got to tell. One of the big stories for me was I was in Windows of the World 910, yeah. wasn't I? Um, right. I was due to start a job yeah. in Pace University, um, which was on in the Trade Centre on 9-11. And they told me the day before that my uh, visa wasn't allowed to uh, to do another job. I only had to work one one company. Mm. So they couldn't transfer the visa. So I would have started on 9-11. That, that day? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that would have been the start the first day. day. Yeah. But I'll probably... They were on like the 34th floor or something, or the 24th floor, I can't remember what floor they were on. Yeah. Like 34 or 24. Um, so it wouldn't have been an issue mm. as such. But knowing me, I'd be so like, nah, crazy. fuck it, I'll, I'll stay out, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, we were lucky that day. But I remember that day was um, gaining, I remember walking through our warehouse, and we had quite a big warehouse, you know, a few hundred thousand square foot. I remember walking through, we had speakers in there for when anyone called, and there was phones scattered around so you could pick phones up as you went. And just a page over the, something come over the page, the channel, and it said, Darren, pick up line one, urgent, uh, your wife's on the phone. So I was like, I can wait. <laughs> can't be that urgent. You know what I mean? 10 o'clock in the morning, 9 o'clock in the morning or whatever, I'm like, can't be that urgent. So I carried on walking, I went to speak to the, um, the dispatch, the drivers, uh, where we have a dispatch office in the warehouse. So I heard one of the drivers radioing through to the dispatcher. He was speaking he was, Spanish, wasn't he? Was he? He's, he's a Spanish speaker, I think he was like Cuban or something. He was, he was talking, and he was yelling down the radio, something about a fire and I went is he saying his truck's on fire he went no he said the building's on fire the big building he's yelling down the radio about the building being on fire so Vinny's like let me get, get, get a radio or get a tv or something I said I'm going back up the front I said I'll, uh, I'll see you in a bit sort of thing so let me know when he gets on so I walk him back and he's coming over the radio again over the tunnel like Darren it's urgent your wife's on the phone pick up line one so I'm like oh, I'm walk back up I'm walking through the warehouse get back to the front everyone's like your wife's on the phone and everyone's looking like strange around me so I think I'm like what the fuck's happened there sort of thing so I call you up and you're like the plane's at the trade center so I'm like what's well, our plane and in our office we had all these like um, model, planes. model planes that was uh, given to us from the airlines so you had everything from like a 737 all the way to like a 747 or you know at the time so like something she said it's saying it's a Boeing 757 or a 767 I went what just and like we were talking, I went, plan. and I went, I picked up one of the planes and I said to one of the guys in the office, I went, that's a 767. I said, there's no way that's at the Trade Centre, by accident. Mm -hmm. So then we got we got the TV out and we were in like a basement office, so the stream wasn't great, but we could get the, the picture signal, from a great yeah. signal. Mm -hmm. So we had one guy who was Colombian and he was trans, we could be in the channel, we'd get Spanish. So he was translating to us, going, this is that's why I just found the, the little pub around the corner called Tiffany's on Route 22. We used to go in there every lunch. So I phoned them up and I went, are you open? And he went, we are now if you want to come in. So I went, I'm coming, I'm coming down now. So I drove down to Tiffany's, went in, same, when you go in, whenever we're in the bars there, yeah. beer on the bar ready for me. So I think, so I'm sat there having a beer, like, it's like 10 o'clock in the morning. So I think, I'm sat there, I'm on the phone with you, and I said, just don't do anything yet, so don't go anywhere till we find out what's going on here. I said, that's what I'm doing, I'm just sitting tight to find out what's going on. And we've got to remember, Route 22 in, in uh, Hillside, New Jersey, um, we're only, as the crow flies, probably a couple of miles away from the trade centre. It's not far, it's across the water, it's far yeah, to yeah. drive it, but if you go across the water, you're only a couple of miles away, sort of thing, and you can see it. You can see all the smoke bellowing from the trade centre, mm. sort of thing. So I'm sat there and I'm like, fucking hell, I don't know what to do here. I, it was the first time in my life I didn't know what to do. Mm. I'm like, do I go home? Do I just sit tight? Do we just don't do anything until we find out what's happening? So I thought, best thing to do. You just sit in the bar <laughs> and watch it on TV and just have a beer sort of thing. So I have a, a couple of beers. 
So I thought, and no, I was well, and I was with yeah. Kate at the time because I yeah. drove up to Kate's house, yeah. Yeah. Um, and she was worried because her husband worked for the Rosie O'Donnell. He show. did. He was on the Rosie so O'Donnell show. He was there, yeah. and she couldn't yeah. get hold of him, so it was like yeah. a bit of a panic. Yeah, and we had Wayne, who was uh, he was yeah. in, he was in the was city at the right time. He yeah. got out and he started walking. He just Wayne, started... Wayne got out, then yeah. he come home. He was one of them that's covered in dust. He, yeah. what, what happened with Wayne? This was a funny story with Wayne. Not funny, but it's one of them stories where he actually he was an IT guy, IT engineer. And in them, them days, he didn't. There was not. There was no download, so you could go on the, online and download a program. Mm -hmm. It's all CD. Mm -hmm. So he'd got a CD, gone up to the. I think he was on like the, was it something like the ninety second yeah, floor yeah. or whatever. Forgot the CD he needed to load. Had to go back down to his car. And when he went back down the first plane hit, <clears throat> so all the debris showered out, showered out over him sort of thing. And he was one of them covered in dust and all that. He got hit a few times, yeah. black and blue, blooded up and all that kind of stuff. And then he ended up walking over the Brooklyn Bridge yeah. sort of thing. And he got he got away that way. He, he walked, started, just started walking and going. And he, I think he crossed over into Brooklyn and then managed to get back. He lived in, um, what's the uh, the show called? Uh, he lived in, I can't remember the name of the town he lived in. He was just off the partway on like... Uh, Exit like 88 or something like that. No, not 88. No. More than that. 10. No. Yeah. Was it one, 130 something? One, yeah, like 134 or something like that. Yeah. He lived on. I can't remember the name of the area, but he lived there. So he, he actually he took him. He got home, I think, at something like 10 o'clock at night. From, but he walked through 9 o'clock in the morning. No, he walked into Brooklyn. I think he ended up getting a taxi or he yeah. managed to get a lift somehow from Brooklyn to uh, to, to where he lived in, uh, in New Jersey. Yeah. Just can't remember the name of the town. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's uh, there's a lot of scary stories. We knew a couple of people that died, yeah. uh, passed away from from being there, um, and where we lived because it was a big commuter area for for New York, wasn't it? Yeah, we were in Middletown. Sort of thing. But we were there the night before, and we said we were driving in. We got a limo, we drove in the limo. We drop, and I said to him, I said, "There's nowhere in the world you will see a sky skyline as good as this." We were driving through the uh, Lincoln Tunnel. We were coming around that bend as you go into the Lincoln Tunnel. The skyline's there with the Trade Center and all that kind of stuff. And it's all lit up. And I went, you're not going to see any uh, skyline in the world that matches this. Mm. And you can go anywhere, Singapore, Hong Kong, they've all got great skylines and all think places like that, but nowhere beats Manhattan because it's iconic. You yeah. see it on people, you go anywhere in the world, you'll see a picture of Manhattan on people's walls. Yeah, I was going to say, like, you don't see, see you don't see, yeah, you don't, but that's what I'm saying, you don't see, you don't see, like, Hong Kong on people's walls or, you know, you've Durban. In your office, I've got one in my office, yeah, the, the blinds New York, you yeah, know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's, um, it's one of them where it's iconic. And so when you're driving in, you see it all lit up in lights. And we were going into the, the uh, windows of the world for a, it was a British Airways function, and uh, we got invited to. Um, I think Ian Barber was with us, people like that. And we walked in, and we were saying, "Look at this, best place you'll ever come." And then the next day, all those pear shades, the, the, the skyline changed forever. Mm. You know, it's iconic when you see them trade the trade center towers. You know it straight away. You yeah, know where it is. Yeah. You can look at Sears Tower, I don't know what it's called, now in Chicago. Um, what was Sears Tower? Um, you can look at it and you go, I think it might be Chicago. I think it might be, you know, wherever. You see certain iconic buildings, CN Tower in, in Toronto. You look at it and you go, is it Toronto or is it Seattle? Yeah. You're not 100% sure. Whereas, like, you knew, you, yeah, knew, yeah, you, knew, you knew New York. As soon as yeah. you've seen them two towers, you knew straight away it's New York. Yeah. Or you see the Empire State Building or the Chrysler Building. You know it's New York, mm. no matter where you are in the world. Yeah. And these iconic buildings all around the world, don't get me wrong, you can see the Shard in London. You won't you probably wouldn't know. Yeah. You'd probably be like, just... Is it the Shard? I'm not sure. It could be the, no, shard. the shard. The Shard you know. You know it's the Shard. You, you should do, but at the same time it's not one of them it's not iconic. You see Westminster and uh the House the, of Parliament. House of Parliament, you know. That's that's another building, you know. But you don't see them on the wall of people's building, no. of people's uh, offices no, or you homes. You'd see pictures of people's homes and offices of New York City. Yeah. It's iconic, and they changed it forever. Yeah. Changed, but they, 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 you know, like I say we were lucky. We just could have been starting work that day in that building. Um, it didn't happen. We were in Manchester the day before that got blown up by the IRA. Oh. Remember the bomb in Manchester? Oh, in that, the in the Arndale. Yeah, 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 yeah. We were we were there the night before, and we were talking, and you said you drive and leave your car there, and I said no, let's just get the train. Mm -hmm. So we said we'll just get the train and, and just sort of like leave the cars at home. And then she's like, no, you drive, and we'd leave the car right past where we would have parked the car. We wouldn't have got, never probably got it back. No. It was done. I was in town the day before as well. I stayed over at my mate's house, and then, like, it happened that night, and I was in oh, town. Oh, no, no, you're talking different. You're talking about the Ariana Grande thing, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. 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 yeah, I'm talking about the, the bomb that went in, off. In the, night, like, yeah. the Arndale Centre. The Arndale Centre. Just complo yeah. completely. Yeah. Yeah. That's, to, to be fair, it probably did something. It was good for Manchester that happened. No one died. 
Right. I was going to say, no, yeah, no one died. No one died. Um, yeah. They got enough warning. Um, the IRA used to give warnings. That was a good thing about a terrorist organisation, if you want to classify them as a terrorist organisation, that they give warnings and enough time to evacuate. And the, the area was evacuated. But the, 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 the van, we probably walked past the van the night before. Mm. We probably actually walked, we were right there. We were right, we were right there, there right, right where it was. We'd gone to watch, uh, I think it was Greece, wasn't it? The show, yeah. the musical. Mm. And uh, we were at the theatre and we walked right, we must have walked right past it. Yeah. And it was parked up and the bomb went off the next day. Mad, isn't it? Yeah, so it was, uh, so we never go to the same place twice, do we? No. no. Yeah. Yeah. Go one day and then don't go tomorrow. <laughs> give, it a, give it a couple of days and then we go yeah. back. Unless it's the railway. Unless it's the railway, <laughs> yeah. yeah. No one's going to no pull up the railway. They still die doing what you love. <laughs> Probably got it with the railways. All the idiots are in there drinking. So no, they, they don't want to blow up neither. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's all good. Yeah. No, just Any other questions you want to know about? Driving was, uh, was. How did you find driving? I found it really easy because the roads are really wide and the, the cars are big, so it's it's pretty mm. you know it's pretty easy. And parking the you know, parking spaces. Not just the same. No. You get big cars, you can get small cars. You can get small, but the cars, are, the big cars over there, you don't get them over here. You won't mm. see an expedition or you had an expedition XLT. Yeah. You won't get them over here. She had like three rows of seating in it and all that. You, it was massive. It was like you could open the, the door and you could climb up the steps, walk all the way, and walk out the other side. It was really? that that big, mm. yeah. Yeah, again, around the, the expedition XLT, uh, the long, long style, you had like three rows of seats. Like a school bus. Yeah. <laughs> Compared to what you get I was, over I was, here. I was driving, and you and Declan were strapped in the back in your car seats, and as I came around this bend, I must have hit like some dry ice or something on the road. Dry ice. 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 Yeah. yeah. <laughs> dry water. <laughs> no, it was like like a slick, though. It was like, yeah, like oil, maybe. Oil slick, yeah. yeah. And as I turned the bend, the car went round three times in a circle and then was facing oncoming traffic. And Declan just went, cool, do it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As I'm like, ah. yeah. it was, the, the, cars are, the cars are definitely a lot See, bigger. See, cars are like my car, you have to like, obviously, open, not my car, but you have a lot of cars here, you have to open the front door and then the, the front seat goes forward like, yeah, mine like, does, yeah. And then you have, there's no back, and then if you, when you're in the back seat, your knee will be pressed against the seat in front of you most yeah. definitely. Yeah, hey, Sophie's car, you couldn't, I, I'd never, I think I've been yeah, in your car once, me and Dave sat in the back. Yeah, you did. In your car once. Playing in, yeah. what was it? Able to sit in the back of the car. Me and, me and Dave got in the back of Sophie's car one day. Really? Coming we back from the pub. pub. <laughs> we came back from the pub and we sat Last in the back. Both of um, us sat in the book. We played uh, Infant it, Annihilator. That's yeah. it, yeah. <laughs> uh, that, that would do my head. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like trying to drive and he's like, put the windows down, put the windows down. That's just throw it up on the window. No, but the car's over there a lot bigger. You know, yeah. we, had, uh, we had quite a... Uh, remember that Oldsmobile Cutler Supreme? Yeah, I hated that. Yeah. It was just like one seat, it wasn't, wasn't two seats, it was like, like bench, bench. seating. Oh, like bench God. seating. But it had like a 5.7 litre engine and it used to growl like it was, I think it was like a V8. Do you know we used to the petrol though? Like, you try and, like, it was dead cheap at the time. Cheap, the petrol though. Was it? Yeah, yeah. it was proper cheap. Mm -hmm. but it was, um, yeah, it cost me about the equivalent of £20 to fill my tank up. But you didn't have to do it, you wow. didn't do it yourself neither in New Jersey. You can't fill up yourself I in New Jersey. Fake. What if, what, would they let you do it yourself if you wanted to? No, no it's, it's illegal. illegal. No, no, it's illegal. Why? You have to just pull up and then they, they put gas in your tank. But why is it illegal then? Yeah, yeah, it was the same, yeah. But you used to say, uh, what you used to say, fill up uh, standard or whatever you say. Um, supreme, fill up supreme. Yeah. Or fill up standard or, or regular. Fill up regular. Because like, regular. you know when you put like petrol in, I always try and get like bang on the penny, but it never works. So say like you want like 30 quid or something. You put in 30 quid. Yeah, the time for it just clicks on. But yeah, you didn't, what they used to do, they, used to, they, they, they don't have them over here, but what they used to put the to put your money, the amount in, mm. if it was full, they'd just put it on and they'd put a clip on the, and, uh, it. and they'd move, they'd go and do someone else. And uh, it'd click off when it, when it was ready, didn't it? Yeah. Uh, it should, we should do that over here, to be mm. fair, because like, you always get like three pence over, and then like, if you only got a 20 quid, like... You always get a mong that takes ages as well. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I'm like, it's not me, it's not me. It's not you. No. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. But driving, I found dri I, I used to love driving over there, because I'd, when I go in Manhattan, you wouldn't drive in Manhattan, would you? No, I used to drive as far as before you go in and then switch over and you Yeah, and I'd drive in. Switch over. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I used to drive like them. I used to drive like a taxi driver in Manhattan. It'd be like everywhere, everywhere's a race, in and out of lanes, changing mm -hmm. lanes, going over like that. Yeah. And then we used to have, with the toll booths, we used to have like about 18 toll booths, didn't they? Yeah. And I used what, to try... What, toll to get into New York? Yeah, yeah. You have yeah. like a little thing on your car, so when you go pass. through it, yeah, it mm. just clicks it automatically, or oh, you stop and throw your money in. Or you in. stop, oh, throw your money in, or with, with them, it was like, kind of like you had to pay, or yeah. the, 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 the turnpike used to get like a ticket. So mm. when you come on, and then you 
put it in and then give it your donut it works now but it's well it used to be like a, a basket and you used to wind your window down and then throw, throw it in. and i remember one day throwing it and it, one i think one coin went in and the rest went everywhere else and i was like oh <laughs> yeah. again it's driving <laughs> <laughs> but it was uh yeah it's driving over there was easy for us but you know for me it wasn't anyway. Do you remember when we were going to work that morning when we were both really hung over we were in the oh, middle lane i threw up in the car then and i did as well so so oh, he went, I sprayed oh, the window. He said, I feel really sick. What was it called? The bridge? Yeah, with the P, Pa. The, um... Let like us know in the comments. It's going over, it's the, it's the bridge on the parkway that goes over from, like, Sayerville area yeah. over to, uh, I don't know, um, Perth Amboy, is yeah, it? Somewhere yeah, like that. that. Can't remember the name of the bridge. Yeah. But I remember just, I went like that, and it sprayed all over the window. He said, I'm going to be sick, and he put his hand over his mouth, and he just went, and it just squirted through his fingers. That then made me sick. <laughs> We're on like six <laughs> lanes. Bridge crossing? No, no, no it's, it's called the it began with the P, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but anyway, but it's, it was like six lanes of traffic, and the, the lanes were quite narrow because you weren't allowed any trucks on the parkway. Mm. It was only buses and, and cars, sort of thing. So it was like, what's that? I couldn't see out the window, and I'm trying to wipe it, wipe sick on the window. <laughs> so it's all smudging on the window, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm like, disgusting. oh, this ain't good. And I managed to sort of like get over the bridge, see it, and pull over before yeah. we went on the turnpike. So I can give it a go. <coughs> but remember, we went to, we come out of a uh, meeting one night in, I um, can't remember the name of the hotel, where Anna was a bush, uh, used to be on, on Route 1 and 9. Yeah. And we come out of this meeting um, from one of the hotels there, and we were driving, and I'm looking, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going the right, we were talking about the yeah. meeting. And we, it was I went over a bump. snow. It, yeah, it was, I went over a bump, went over another bump. I'm like, I, I just wasn't paying attention whatsoever. And I'm thinking, well, how am I getting on the turnpike here yeah, sort of thing. Yeah, we could see it, but we didn't. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, but I'm just driving like that next thing, come to a stop, and a guy put his hand in the window with a gun, right at the side of my head like that. And I went, shit, do you know what, you know what your instinct is? I went like that. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bad it down. And the guy just went, Poof, put it back, and I, went, I looked at him like that, and he was a police officer. He went, what are you doing? And I went, I'm trying to find the turnpike. <laughs> He's like, what? I went, I'm trying to find the turnpike. He's like, I said, I can see it. But I, don't, I drove into a prison. Yeah, railway prison, wasn't it? And not one, one, one railway. It was like a detention centre or whatever it was. It was right near, it was on one and nine, like the area, near, mm. near the Anais Bush uh, yeah. uh, brewery. distillery, brewery. Yeah, but he put a gun at my head. I shit it. Yeah. Yeah. But my instinct was just bite. <laughs> <laughs> and then when we finally got out and got yeah. back on, because I think the, the stress. I drove all, into a yard, all... prison yard. How have you managed that? We I don't, don't know. know. <laughs> Like, is it not gated? Like, yeah, I was going over speed bumps and everything. And when I, when I drove back out, I thought, how the fuck have we got down here? Mm. We had no idea how we got in there. But no. when we finally got out, all the windows were steamed up. And he went, put the window down. And I put the window down. And just Brand new the, car. Yeah. And just as the window went down, this car went past. And all this snow and slush came flying through the window. <laughs> Brand new car <laughs> we as well. <laughs> Piss wet through. Fucking snow everywhere. Yeah. And the, the, the dashboard was covered <laughs> in snow. <laughs> Like slush. It was a nightmare. Bad, just a bad day. Yeah. We didn't even get the contract for the meeting we went in. I know. Not surprised coming in the snow. That was after. We were, we're left. We were going home. It was, yeah, it, was just, it was a bad day, that. Mm. Cause, yeah, we just, how we got in that prison yard, I'll never know. No. We were actually in the yard of the prison. And the guy, the cop, to come over. Mm. How bad's that? Could have been worse. <laughs> Could have been a lot worse. Especially Could've after been. you've hit the gun. Yeah. Away. Exactly. Yeah. But lucky for us, the guy just went turn around and go. I think he heard the accent yeah. and thought they yeah. really are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they are. They thick are, as, they are thick as they look. <laughs> so, yeah. Just we were just. I just. I don't. It, when, when we drove out, I went. How oh, the fuck have we got down here? I know. We went through barriers and everything. We're going up and down. <laughs> and I'm like, I've, we're really not paying attention at all. Yeah. No, there must have been like two ways, and you've gone out a mm. different way than you. Came. Possibly, but we took. No, he just told us to turn around and go back out the road, and we, we kind of going over the same speed bumps. But it yeah. seemed to be barriers or something yeah. went up and down. Yeah. And we were just driving, and the barriers must have gone up, and we just carried on driving. They're probably thinking, yeah, he's obviously knows where he's going. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let him in. <laughs> yeah. Weird one that, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah. But it's, yeah, growing up there was like it was our, I call it our growing up years. Yeah. Because it was like we were young, twenty odd, you know, early twenties to like early thirties. Two kids over there, mm. um, growing up with them. Any other questions? Um, did you have first Philly cheesesteak in America? Did you have it in yeah. Philadelphia? Went to Philadelphia. We, we went to Philadelphia quite a lot with you guys. We used to take to Dave and Buster's. On, uh, is it called, was it called like Philly Pear or something like that? Was it called? Yes, something like yeah, that, I can't remember where it was. But it was like a, it was like a big... Um, Theme, uh, not games, it was all games and like yeah, table yeah, like, tennis yeah. and pool hall and 
arcade mm. sort of place. Uh, Dave and Buster's. Like a big it's entertainment centre. Mm. Yeah. But we used to go down there. If you crazy wanted to, golf. You, used to always, you two, both of you always wanted to go. Can we go Dave and Buster's? Mm. So we used to drive that Philly, because that was, I think, was the closest one at the time. Yeah. So we drive the Philly, it was about, about it was 45 minutes to an hour. He was, he was little. 45 minutes to an hour. So yeah, well, yeah, not too far. Yeah. So we'd go park up and then we'd spend the day around there. We'd go tubing down the uh, Delaware River. Yeah. That was quite pretty, that was pretty cool. Um, I don't know if you were born when we went tubing. Would no. have been. No. Probably would have been. I used to get in like, uh, used to go down to like, well, uh, only what area was three it? when we went to Texas. What area was the Delaware River we used to go? Hope. Hope, New Jersey, was it New Jersey that? Yeah. Or, or Pennsylvania? Uh, I think it was Pennsylvania, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, And then you go up and then we drive up to the top of the river and they give you like big rubber rings and we'd tie them all together and we'd sit there you two would like the eight Declan was a little bit bigger sort of yeah. thing so we'd have his own sort of tied down and I'd probably carry you and then we'd sail just float down the river for like three hours on the river mm -hmm. yeah. we used to have a few beers in the uh, centre bit in the bit or hung over with, with a rope in the water to keep him cool yeah. and crack open a beer and drink a beer as we sailed down the river pretty cool wasn't yeah. it and every now and then you get into the rapids and it would mm. be exciting. Best one was when we went to uh, when we drove down from New Jersey to Texas, and uh, we stopped in Tennessee and we went whitewater rafting. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. And the guy, you you were sat in the middle, so we had to kind of like hold you in the middle. Yeah, like these like helmets in. on. Yeah, like. you had to have the helmets, but you on the whitewater raft you put your feet under these like uh, little straps that are on the floor to keep you in the boat sort of thing. So you two were sat in the middle, but your feet were under the straps. So the guy says, right, in a minute, I can't remember how old you were. He was about. What was he, about three? And yeah. Declan was about six. Yeah. And he says, uh, in a minute, you'd be able to get in the water. And all you two heard was get in the water. So the pair of you just dived off the side of the boat into the rapids. I'm like, I looked at the guy, and the guy just went, shit, the guy dived in after you. So I'm like, white water raft. I'm, I'm like, I ain't getting them. <laughs> and he just dragged you back into the boat. And the guy's spitting water out and everything. He's like, I didn't say now. Just wait a bit. But Declan then went into like, uh, like mild, like, uh, calm waters. Where you were allowed to swim. Where you were allowed to swim. Mm. So Declan gets out. <laughs> He must have touched a rock, his foot on a rock, and he just went, Declan come flying into the boat, right? He just come straight from the water, straight into the boat. He went, crocodile! <laughs> <laughs> crocodile. <laughs> Not even the alligators over there, mate. <laughs> like, crocodile! <laughs> you know what he's like? Yeah. Mr. Over, yeah, over, uh, over enthusiastic. The best was when we were in, in, on the uh, footpath in the woodlands on the bikes, and we oh, said to them, when you keep uh, going, when you get to a road, just stop. So the next thing, this woman, so they'd obviously stopped at the road. And Declan on a motorbike. He had like a, a little motorcycle, like didn't he? Like an electric yeah. motorbike, yeah. And this woman had seen these two young children on their own. And he she had a said, quad. She said, yeah. she said, are you guys okay? And Declan just threw his bike and went, he didn't come stranger! Back to his bike. He just legged it back to us. He's like, someone's trying to kidnap us. <laughs> so I go sprinting off, like, well, where, where's he? He's left him. So I'm legging it down, I'm legging it down the street like that. And the girl's like, she stood there, she going, so sorry, so sorry. I was just making sure they're okay. I didn't know they were with anyone. I was like, it's fine. <laughs> but Declan's like, kidnap her. Took sort of like. it so much to do it straight. Yeah. I used to sit them down and I used to say, if somebody says to you, do you want some sweets, what do you say? And he'd go, yes, please. And I'd go, no. If you don't know them, you say no. And I, I went through this that made Declan so paranoid. Yes. If anyone spoke to him, he was being kidnapped. <laughs> Kidnapper! I think he said something yeah. like that, didn't he? He's like, Aiden's being kidnapped. <laughs> <laughs> something like that. I just went, you know what I'm like? I just went sprinting off like 100 mile an hour. Like I'm charging down, ready to fight. Yeah. He's just there with his like, helmet on. He's sat, he's sat his bike like that, just waiting at the crossroads, just staring at this woman in the car. And she's like, I'm so sorry. I'm like, fine. <laughs> Declan, it's not like him to be over dramatic. Well, <laughs> never. Yeah. But yeah, it was funny that. Yeah. Yeah. That was in the woodlands as well. Yeah. No, nothing happens in the woodlands. No. Yeah. I think the only thing that's, you know, I remember going on like canal boat in the they have this like little canal that ran around the city, uh, ran around the town centre type thing. And this is, uh, we're going to go through some life uh, life saving uh, instructions, safety, safety brief. briefing sort of thing. He said, if the boat capsizes and you're in the water, just stand up because it's about that deep. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that place we used to drop them off when we when we used to go for dinner in the woodlands? No. It was a, a childcare centre. We used to drop them off and we'd pay and then you came back to pick them up. But yeah, the first time remember. we dropped them off, it was about 11 o'clock at night and we came back. What? <laughs> what? what was I doing? Yeah, so 
You don't remember it? No. So it was, it was a childcare centre in the woodlands, and you dropped them off, and they played, and they did like crafts and stuff. I vaguely remember but it. Then, but then, but then it closed. You had to pick them up by eleven o'clock at night. So we got out for dinner. <laughs> we came, yeah, we came back. And I, I, can't walk the the I just saw a row of like children all lay down there, like a TV on, but they were all just lay there with like the blankets and a pillow. And I thought, oh, I can't do this again. This is awful. And that's when we got a babysitter. Yeah, I don't remember. Yeah. What? I, remember, I vaguely remember the sleep. <coughs> you were all, yeah, they were all just a row Aww. of children all fast asleep. I mean, that sounds quite nice though. Like. It, it was nice, but then you think, well, it's 11 o'clock at night and yeah. they're only like mm. two and six and. And there's us pissed driving them on. <laughs> <laughs> so no, I never did it again. I, mean, I did it during the day because you used to enjoy going there. To be fair, we didn't drink a lot in the USA, did we? No. Mm, not as much as we do now, but it's, uh, in the USA we didn't... We went out a lot, but we didn't drink much. No. Since we had kids anyway. Yeah. We didn't really drink much when we had kids. I never drank at home. No. Never. Only when we went out. Yeah. But yeah, it's a... Uh, yeah, but growing up in the USA was like special for us. I think. Do you think you'd ever want to go back there? Yeah, I would. I would live mm. back there. Um, where would you go? Uh, I think I'd like to live somewhere like Vermont or. I'd like to visit. Yeah. Mm. No, well, actually, if you wanted to go at Christmas. I don't really know anything about it though. Why don't we go at Christmas then? Yeah. No Christmas present. The flight is long. <laughs> it goes it's so fast. Eight hours, isn't it? No, it's not, it's not even that fast. Like six, six, seven, six, seven, seven hours. hours. Well, that's if we go to New York. Yeah. New York. Yeah, East Coast. Six, seven hours. Yeah. But you can't really get, you have to go, all the flights from here don't, you I mean you get LA, New York, Chicago, I'd never Atlanta. go to LA or Australia because of how long the flight is. Yeah, but you go it's and you great. stop off in New York and you then go to LA if you want to do that. But I think, I think it's too long to go for Christmas. Yeah. Yeah, so anyone want to house us? <laughs> yeah, so we <we're> spare rooms. <laughs> in the New York, New Jersey area. In fact, Boston, you can get flights to Boston as well. I think do Boston, don't they? Yeah. I, I think like Boston. Cool. I do yeah. like Boston. Boston's yeah. a cool place. Yeah. Yeah, there's still the roadworks going on there. Remember the roadworks? Yeah, I mean, yeah. we went back about four years later. It was still roadworks, yeah. same place. It's probably still the same now. Is that where Bill and Lydia were as well when we went? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we met with friends there, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. So I used to be a nanny for a family, and they took a job in Boston. We mm. went and stayed, went and visited, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. Went and stayed yeah. at a hotel near there. Yeah, but uh, Boston's yeah, I like Boston. Do Boston, Chicago, New York. New York's the best for me. Yeah. I just love New York. I do. And uh, I know people saying it's not like proper America, but if I went, if I went back, I'd probably want to go somewhere like Boise, Idaho. Right. If I'm going back to sort of Michigan, oh, yeah. Michigan looks pretty cool. I mean, I've been to Detroit. Denver as well, like, fancy yeah, Denver. We've got friends in Denver, right. haven't we? Yeah. Uh, I probably want to go to either Wyoming or North Dakota. That's probably in the middle of nowhere, isn't it? <laughs> it's probably now happening up there. They're probably the two like states that. What even? What is even there? I'd just love to live in a house with a wraparound porch in the middle of nowhere with a rocking chair. So like on the notebook. Yeah. Should be like that. It's a piece of straw. Ideas of yeah, where you live. Very different, aren't they? Very yeah. Different, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'd be my worst nightmare. Yeah, same. Oh, I'd love that too. That'd be my worst nightmare. I couldn't yeah. do that. No. I'd love it. I want, I want to walk out the front door and be about 10 metres away from the pub. I want to walk out... <laughs> oh, yeah, that... that um, I want to walk out the front door and then have, like, five, ten minute drive to the nearest bars and I don't want to drive like anywhere. Taxi drive, whatever. I, mm. But also... Can have, I get taxis in all these places? But also be able to walk to, a, like, a local one but then the, all the main ones are like 10 minutes away rather than step out of your house and it's just countryside. And I would we went, the worst. We, we went on a train once from, uh, I can't remember where we'd been. Uh, we, went, we got off on the train and we got off in somewhere like Neptune, New Jersey. Yeah. Was, and we, we just stopped on the train, sort of like walked into this bar across the street from the train station. It was a proper like shitty dive bar, wasn't it? Yeah. And I went and I went, hi mate, you all right? Sort of thing. He's like, where are you guys from? Uh, you know, out of town, there's every, one of them where everything stopped and we walked mm. in. It was a proper shitty bar. So I said, can you answer me a question? He went, yeah, I went, next stop's Miami, right? He went, huh? I went, next stop's Miami. He went, no, you're in New Jersey. I went, you lying bastard. I think it was you. I went, you lying bastard. You said to me, the next stop was Miami. I said, we've been on the train for like 16 hours. He's like, where have you come from? <laughs> <laughs> he probably took it dead serious. Like, he was just looking at me like, I don't know what's going on with this guy's head, but you know, I said, I'm kidding, mate. <laughs> We probably had him wind up for a while, didn't we? Yeah. Next yeah. That's when I had the incident on the train, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so we were on this train and we'd been drinking all day in Manhattan and I needed to go to the toilet and I walked in there and it was about this far from the top and I thought, oh, I've got a train. The train was packed. The, the toilet was 
about this what, far. Was it flushing? It, I think it didn't it, flush, it, I think it was it blocked. blocked. It was blocked with everything. You think the worst things, ladies' products, and the tra everything. The train, the train is packed, right? So I've got a choice. I can wet myself or I can hover. So hover. Hover. Yeah. <laughs> so I didn't even pull my knickers down, I just pulled them to the side. Position myself, started to wee. The train jolted, it overflowed. My legs went like this and I fell straight into it. And then I just stood there for about 15 minutes, just crying. Opened the door and came out and everybody, was, smell going, was, bad. everybody was going. The smell was bad. And it was like, everyone was like this. Well, we all moved to the next carriage. Everybody went to the next carriage and Even left me. me on my own. She was on her own in one carriage. I'm in the other carriage. We're all like faced <laughs> up against the window like that. Like everyone's like, excuse me, mate, excuse me. Like everyone's and just watching through the window, seeing Gaynor sat there on her own like that. <laughs> Crying. <laughs> it was <laughs> the train was empty where she was sat the carriage. Yeah, and everyone in our carriage was, it was, it was proper like and it was squeezed all in. Over you. Yeah, I'd fallen into it. There was turds everywhere, it was disgusting. It was bad. The smell was bad, I can still smell it to this day. <laughs> but even I went in the other carriage, I'm like, I'm not having none of that. Straight out. I'm, I'm just looking at him and he's going. Yeah, right, right, there. Stinks, man. Yeah. yeah. But we was like, yeah, it was bad, that, wasn't it? Yeah, that was disgusting. What made us get the train? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think you've ever been on a train. Other than that. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, yeah, let us know if you want to uh, hear more about our stories in the USA. We've got loads, yeah, haven't we? Yeah, we have, yeah. I don't know, 12 years worth yeah. of uh, funny stories. Uh, funny to us, anyway. Yeah. Might to you. Yeah. But, uh, You've yeah. probably switched off by now. <laughs> Possibly. People want to get us to know us more. That's, that's, it's, it's honest, isn't it? Yeah. That's what we are. Yeah. Honest family. Telling stories. Living in the USA. Yeah. Our favourite place in the world. Um, but if you want to hear more, just let us know in the comments. We'll tell you. Maybe do part three. Yeah. Maybe something like that. But uh, hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe. Don't forget. Um, and go over, to the, go over to the, uh, the giveaway we're doing. $500 giveaway. Uh, which you can get just before Christmas. Yeah. All the details are on that. Uh, what do you call it? Five hundred dollars giveaway. No, what would you call it? Or show, video, oh, video? video. Everything's on there. So yeah. go over there and have a look. Like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Catch you guys on the next one. Bye. Cheers. Bye.